The AOS Fibular Nail System has anatomical advantages for fragile bone structures, diabetes, vascular disease, swelling, or necrotic skin around the ankle. One of the things that we didn't really like was the inability to really lock length well. Um, we didn't like that there weren't locking options, especially for people that had osteoporosis. Uh, we didn't like the nail lengths, that uh, if you have something like a segmental fibula, that you could have a nail that would go further up the fibula and be able to do both fractures. The benefits of the AOS fibula nail are fewer wound complications with nails versus plates, decrease the risk of major skin and soft tissue trauma by allowing for smaller incisions. The advantage of fibula nail is that, like any other nail versus plate is that it's soft tissue preservation, small and smaller incisions, so it's perfect for people with healing complications. But I think the biggest indication really is for people that have uh, diabetes or any sort of soft tissue healing uh, problems. One of the other areas in the market that we can't do right now is, is having a cannulated nail. And just like any other bone that we nail in orthopedics, we once we get the guide where it passed the fracture, the last thing we want to do is have to take that out before we put the nail in. So um, the smallest nail that we have, which is the 2.5 diameter, is not cannulated. Um, we just had to do that to, to get the, the fatigue resistance high enough for using that small of a diameter. The three millimeter diameter nail is uh, completely cannulated. So we can, we can pass the wire, we can ream over the wire and put the nail over the wire. Uh, so you don't have to uh, spend extra time trying to, trying to get the, the nail past the fracture site again. The actual size of the nail from the tip of the nail to where uh, the shaft portion is, we thought was too long. And if you have done a lot of fibular nails, trying to get the fibular nail down flush or inside the lateral malleolus uh, often involves shoving the giant wedge of the nail up into where the, uh, where the metaphysis and diaphysis connect. And for a lot of people, the, the current nails on the market are just too large and have, a, have too long of a length and create uh, huge hoop stresses that can break the bone. The AOS fibular nail offers uh, a multitude of different abilities uh, for locking options. The, the ones that we have right now are kind of an industry standard uh, two A to P screws and two syndesmotic screws. One that has two lock, two A to P lockers and a, one syndesmotic will get us only about 28 millimeters from the tip of the nail to where it goes down to the shaft. So that's significantly different than any, anything else on the market. And then in addition to that, there's a nail that has um, two distal locking A to P and then an oblique option. We incorporated screw heads that actually go flush with the bone. So unlike other systems, this, our, our screws actually go down and countersink into the bone and have, have threads on the head to, uh, to engage the cortical bone as well. So our goal was to have the ankle fracture treated, uh, anatomically aligned and held until healing. And then at the end, we have absolutely nothing sticking outside the bone. Uh, to try to get our, our uh, hardware removal rate essentially to zero. The options that we have in, in configuration of screws are just uh, are so much better than, than what's out there right now. So everything put together, being able to maintain the length, having locking options, having different variations in, in how long and, uh, and both in, in total length and how long the nose can be, I think those are all added benefits to it.